Hi everybody, this is Patrick Gill for Polygon.com and we're going to really quickly go over the fundamentals of combat in the new God of War. If you are playing this God of War game after playing the older ones on PS2 and PS3, uh, first of all, you'll notice that the combo system feels really different. Uh, the free-flowing system from the old game has been replaced with something a bit heavier, uh, and you'll also notice that Kratos is squishier on the default difficulty. Uh, you'll take less punishment before you die. Also, a big shakeup is that the Blades of Chaos that Kratos has used in every previous game have been replaced with the Leviathan Axe. It's an axe that can come back to his hand like Thor's hammer. So whether this is your first God of War game or you've played the previous one, uh, these tips should help you get up to speed with the new combat system. So first of all, you're going to want to learn your basic combos. R1 will trigger light attacks, uh, and that'll give you a basic combo of three horizontal swipes. R2 will give you a heavy attack. The basic combo for heavy attacks is just two inputs of R2, then R2, which will give you a big upswing, then a big downswing. So where the combo system really takes off is that light and heavy attacks can be chained into one another. And this is where you're going to have most of your fun with the combo system. An opening heavy attack will lift an opponent into the air, and then you can use a series of light attacks to juggle them until the final blow sends them flying. You'll want to experiment with mixing up light and heavy blows to see what sort of effect it has on your enemies. You'll unlock more techniques down the line, but pretty much all of them are going to branch off of these basic combos, so get familiar with them. Next, you will want to learn to parry. Your shield is mapped to L1, and you can use that to block most light attacks and a lot of ranged attacks, uh, but its real utility is parrying. If you tap L1 just as an enemy strike is about to land, you'll stagger them backwards and create an opening for yourself. And you'll also knock back other nearby enemies. Pay attention to the color-coded cues that appear before certain attacks. If you block a yellow attack but you don't parry it, you'll end up getting staggered back and you'll need to dodge out of the way to avoid taking damage. If an attack has a red mark on it, that is unblockable. And that brings us to our next tip which is to dodge a lot. You should dodge all the time. Tapping X and a direction will execute a quick dash. The dashes in God of War have a nice helping of invulnerability frames or iframes, uh, and these will let you pass right through enemy attacks unharmed. I personally try to dash against the direction of an attack because uh, this minimizes the amount of time you're overlapping with the enemy's weapon, but you can dash with attacks. Your timing just has to be a bit better. If you hit X at any point during a dash, you'll execute a dodge roll. Dodge rolls will move you further, uh, but there's going to be a longer recovery period before you can start attacking again. You've got a pretty generous window where you can decide whether or not you'd like to turn a dash into a dodge roll. You can even use this to reverse the direction of your dodge. For example, you can dash towards an enemy and then roll back away from them. In general, I use dashing when I want to quickly reposition myself around an enemy without stopping my attack. And I use dodge rolls when I want to get totally clear of a fight and reevaluate my options. It's worth noting that pretty much all of Kratos' attacks can be cancelled into dashes or rolls, and this is really helpful when it looks like an enemy attack might land before yours. Just tap X and a direction and you can save yourself from taking damage. Next, you want to remember to throw that axe. Your axe is a useful ranged weapon. By holding L2, you'll cock it back and prepare to throw. Hitting R1 will fire off a quick throw that does some damage. R2 will fire a heavy, slower attack that will actually freeze an enemy in place as long as the axe is lodged in that enemy. You'll do the most damage by targeting an enemy's weak point. If the reticule is over an enemy and it's pink and open, you'll do a normal amount of damage. If it's a closed red diamond, you're targeting that enemy's weak point and you'll do more damage. That said, targeting other parts of an enemy can be useful. For example, throwing at the legs can trip up an enemy and temporarily take them out of the fight. So if you hit triangle, the axe will fly back to your hand from wherever it is, and it'll damage any enemies in its path. Also, keep an eye out for explosive jugs that you can ignite with your axe. It's a really good way of clearing out a big group of enemies. Our last tip is to keep fighting after you throw that axe. Kratos has powerful unarmed attacks in this game, and you should take advantage of them. R1 will give you a combo of damaging punches. R2 will trigger a powerful thrust kick that can knock enemies back and push them away. Most importantly, those unarmed strikes will build up an enemy's stun meter. If it's full, you'll see this red prompt, and then you can pull off a nasty-looking instant kill. 
pretty quickly into God of War, the game will start putting you in combat scenarios with a mix of enemy types, and it'll require you to quickly transition between armed, unarmed, and ranged combat, all while keeping yourself out of harm's way. Practice mixing up your techniques early on, and you should have a pretty good time out there.